So, hello everybody. ConvertMoss 8.0 is out. And if you have never heard about this tool, it's a totally free and open source tool to convert between different multi-sample formats to find new sample fodder for your favorite sampler. And in this new release, I support now as well Logic EXS24 format, which many people ask me about to support this as well. And you can read that as well as write that as an output format. Let's have a look at reading first. It turned out it was actually not so easy to find some example files until I stumbled here on GitHub over the module samples repository, which contains gigabytes of data and samples. For example, there are 73 repositories, which not all are sample libraries, but lots of them. So there are a lot of analog and digital synthesizers in there, like Roland J8, Casio HT700, more Roland, Electron Electro 44, so also some newer stuff, and Sonic Disk One. Lots and lots of data, and they contain luckily also EXS24 files, but also as of said, contacts. So if you need input for a sampler, there's lots of stuff there. So let's have a look at that, what you can configure. So the EXS format has no information about metadata. So there's no info about the creator or what kind or category it is. So we play the usual guessing game and there you can have the usual options for that for the detection, which is also explained in the manual. But some other important thing to note is that the EXS format stores an absolute half for the samples reference, which is totally not helpful because it will be always in a different destination. So what you need to do is have an algorithm to find the samples where they are stored on your hard disk. And for example, if we take a look at the, one of the folders which I downloaded from this repository, there is the EXS files in a subfolder, but the audio is in an audio folder. So the question is, how can we find here the samples from that location? And this is what is indicated by this number, how many folders we go up to start the search. So this means if we have two, we go up one, which would be already enough in that case, because the samples are located in the audio folder, but now with settings two, we would go up to that folder as well. It's a good idea to take not too many, or otherwise you might also find maybe samples of the same name, which could be also another issue. So the best is if you have the samples together with the EXS file, and then simply select zero, and then you're totally on the safe side. But if you get errors that the samples cannot be found, then you have here the options to have a higher search and it's not a good idea to go too high otherwise your whole hard disk will be searched for the samples and this will take a lot of time so let's in that case go with one as a showcase let's go with sf set as an output go to convert and here we go we do not need to go through the whole process some example files are just fine so let's close that down here and let's have a look at the output and there you get the files now together with the samples here. So the samples are in a subfolder located. And for example, let's, yeah, whatever, let's load a sound in here in bit. We can directly load as of set. Or we could also load something here in Svitz, which is a free as of set player. Okay, so now let's have a look at the other way around. Let's say we take one of my contact samples from my own library and let's create EXS24 files. Now there are no settings you need to take and just say you want to put that in the output as well. And it's already finished, so we can also close down convert with MOS and there we will find now some EXS files and I do not own Logic, so I could not test that in Logic, but nevertheless, I hope that it works in Logic as well. But I'd like to hear from you down in the comments if it works for you in Logic, if you have the need to use it there and create EXS files. Maybe I need to mention that the formula is not documented by it, but I could find some example code to get the reading going. Even if it's not fully understood, the format, I could also create it and at least I can open it here with TX16W. X, very interesting name, which is a kind of old school sampler and is also totally free. 
until you want to get the professional version, but also the free version has lots of features and does the stuff. And this one can open EXS files as well. So let's try that out. Simply pull it here over the thing and it's loaded. And it's very nice just to create some layers. So for example, let's take another one. Oh, cannot decide, maybe that one. And then we just need to set the media channel to one as well. So very powerful tool and I can also edit the sound here with a filter and uh, all the basic stuff you need. Also have a very interesting modulation matrix with sequences and totally worth a look. And it comes also in a clap version. So much for today. So another new format. There are more in the pipeline. So please stop asking about them. There are more to come. I have uh, at least two more to come, which people also ask about frequently. So stay tuned and until next time, make some funky music.